So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the very secret and very hard to get blueprint for the MCW called Geode. You guys can see it on screen. It looks sick. It has a little bit of like an Ethereum kind of mixture uh, kind of ingrained in the gun. I wish there was a little bit more of that, but anyways, whatever. Uh, it comes with a, a bunch of really cool stuff, actually. If we enter the firing range, I can show you guys exactly what it looks like in game. It comes with this really cool thermal uh, scope, kind of uh, equipped on it. Uh, the gun feels really good, man. It just it just feels really good to uh, to shoot, um, and it just it looks it looks fantastic. Again, if we kind of inspect it, you can see just it's a really cool gun, uh, really cool blueprint, and uh, I don't know. Personally, I like it. So if you like it and you want to obtain it, I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly how to do that here in this video. But if you enjoy this one, be sure leave a like subscribe for more we do a variety of gaming content here in the channel and uh, again if you do enjoy it it really helps the channel if you don't let me know why so i can improve the content in the future and let's go ahead and jump into this now the gameplay i'm going to throw up on the background here is going to be gameplay of the uh dark ether uh area why because that is what we're going to be having to do in uh in order to get this blueprint we're going to have to go into the dark ether but not just any dark ether we have to go into the um the the elder sigil uh, variant now a couple things to note i'll link some guides down in the description below um and that is number one how to access the dark ether okay because you got to do this whole kind of sort of easter egg you got to get these four items in in the map there's like a camera there's a locked diary there's, there's a whole thing there's four different things and then you got to upgrade them to like these gold variants uh because they're originally purple items you got to get them to like the the gold rarity um and there's this whole thing anyways I, i'll link that in the description below because that's not what this video is about uh once you do that and you have access to the, the dark ether you know you have the big gigantic portal that is now uh opening up uh there's going to be uh a way to access this dark ether realm now to access it you're going to be able to get these sigils these normal sigils from doing tier three contracts um in the normal map right so you go to the tier three zone you do contracts and they can drop a normal sigil now when you have a normal sigil you go to the front side of the big gigantic triangular kind of uh thing uh that's on again it's located on the map as as the dark ether symbol right just kind of at the uh, southern section of the uh, tier three zone. You go up to it on the left side, front left side, and you go ahead and hold the interact button, and then you can access the portal, and you're going to go in, and it's basically very, very difficult. It's like tier four zombies. Um, it's, it's very tricky. You're going to be want to you're going to want to be very well equipped for this but when you're inside here there's going to be three contracts that you can do and you pretty much uh going to get some you know interesting rewards from that uh there's a pretty good chance you're going to get some of the most rare uh, uh classified schematics such as the ether blade the dog bone and the golden plate um and there's a chance you can get uh elder sigils from in here as well now elder sigils is what you're going to want to get okay so again we're in here we have 30 minutes and in in order to escape this area you got to find the uh the exit the portal um i think it's usually on one of the rooftops but i i, I don't know for sure i think it might just kind of move around um but uh, you can check the the rooftop uh, some of some of the i think the tallest roof uh in this area kind of towards the sort of center ish of the map um around that area it's typically where i've seen it spawn most of the time uh but if it's not there just look around uh and make sure you you find it and you're good to go i've also by the way seen if you uh, there's like these turrets right you know those turrets where you can insert uh, um, uh, circuit for the turret. I've actually seen elder sigils in there. So if you go in there um, and, and open one of those up, sometimes there's an elder sigil just sitting inside of the tur the turret. So uh, you can go ahead and just interact with the, any of those turrets you see. You might be able to find an elder sigil there as well. Now, whenever you finally get that done, you, you're able to extract out by go finding the portal. That's not it. We got to go back in to the dark ether in a new game. Uh, but this time, which is the gameplay you guys see up on screen, it's the elder variant. Now, again, tier four zombies. But here's the kicker. You only have 15 minutes to get everything done that you need to get done. Uh, but any contracts you do complete, I mentioned this in a different video, uh, you're pretty much guaranteed to get some of these classified schematics. And the first contract that I did, I ended up getting um, the, I think it was like, well, at least two out of three of the new classified schematics. And by the time I was done two out of three, I had all three the, the dog bone the uh the ether blade and the uh the golden armor plate now if you can bring those in with you somehow that's great uh but if you don't already have those then this is one way to get them so again what we're going to be doing in this elder sigil um dark ether zone is is pretty much the same thing we're going for those three contracts when you first come in you're going to see in the archway there's going to be the three teddy bears they're going to spawn across the map 
um, you're going to kind of go in those general directions and listen for like this laugh. And whenever you hear sort of this kind of laugh, uh, you're going to look around that general area. It could be on the rooftop, it could be anywhere else. And you're going to find the contracts. And that's when you're going to activate the contracts. It's best to go in here with as many people as possible. Um, and I I'm not even just saying like a full squad. Okay. You want a full squad of three people, but also when you jump into a game, open up the text chat, ask people, hey, you guys want to get this done? You want to jump into the dark uh, ether uh, elder sigil variant at the very end of this game? Um, you know, if so, you know, get prepared and meet us up over there. That's kind of what happened with me. There was people that were already doing that. I got set up uh, and we just kind of rolled with it. And, and I was super lucky and I got a bunch of stuff done. But here's the kicker. In the Elder Sigil variant, again, you only have 15 minutes, you have to complete all three contracts. Your best bet is to have a full party of six, so you go into the game with three and you try to recruit another three people. You go in with at least six people, and uh, when you're in there, uh, you, you tr I guess, try maybe try to split up into pairs to look for those contracts, and whenever a contract is found, you all regroup on that contract, or so not contract, yeah, contract, yeah. Uh, you all re regroup on that contract to uh, to get it done as soon as possible. It could be anything. It could be like an escort mission, PND, uh, you know, defend PND, uh, you know, different things like that. So uh, do be wary of that. There's going to be a lot of mega bombs that are super powerful. They shoot like the three lasers out of all three heads at the same time, whereas normal mega bombs in a tier one zone only usually shoots like one laser at one head at one time it's uh it's crazy like those big you know energy beams it's very intense so you want to come in here as equipped as possible um i had people that were in the random party that i joined that had like uh the the, the golden dog bone already so there was like two or three level three hellhounds in here a couple people had golden armor plates set up a couple people i think had that uh the ether blade which is you know pretty good uh, for, you know, clearing some some ads out to, to some extent. Uh, so you're going to want stuff like that. Monkey bombs, you know, uh, anything that can help. Um, you know, uh, decoy grenades can sometimes help kind of, you know, give you a, a quick minute to kind of catch yourself and regroup yourself. Uh, healing aura to make sure that you're constantly healing, that you, that if any, anyone goes down, you pop that healing aura, it automatically, you know, revives them. Obviously, you're going to want to come in with self revives. Um, I mean, you know, some streaks would, would be helpful as well. You want a tier three vest. Uh, you, you got You're gonna want a big rucksack because you're gonna want to bring as much stuff in with you as possible Right, you're gonna want to have extra plates Maybe an extra streak maybe an extra self res on you uh, if possible you're gonna want as much uh, Preparation as possible because this is the hardest zone uh, that you can possibly enter and again you got to do all three of these contracts within 15 minutes you do not have a lot of time and then you got to get out of here too right you got to find the portal you got to get out of here uh, as well which could be very very difficult so Again, you want to you want to knock this out as po as fast as possible. So you want to be equipped. You want to have a golden rarity, okay? A gold rarity, the highest rarity weapon with um, uh, pack a punch level three, right? Something something preferably that you know a gun that's actually really good. Packs a punch has a, a lot of ammo in the mag. Obviously, you want you know as many perks, if not all perks, as possible, right? You want you want stamina up to run faster. I would not recommend having a secondary weapon just so you can you can pull your fist out and run a little bit quicker. Uh, so you want something like that, obviously as well. Uh, you want uh, of course speed cold to reload faster. Jug would be helpful to have extra health. Quick revive in case you do need to revive someone, and you know if you don't have your healing aura up or whatever that could be very useful as well very helpful um you know different things like that right anything that can really help you out so like i said get as many of, of these perks as possible and while you're setting up anyways to go into the dark ether zone you, you know just knock out a bunch of contracts and sometimes from the contracts you're gonna get a lot of your a lot of your perks sometimes you'll get a, a level one crystal which can at least save you a little bit of time and money um like i said what i would recommend is is trying to go to uh one of the wall buys in the tier three zone they're typically gold weapons uh gold uh rare uh, weapons so you know that you can get you can get you know gold weapons that way if you have any schematics for wonder weapons you know maybe bring those in or, or something you know whatever you, you know you're kind of feeling um yeah so i, I think that's kind of like mostly uh, what I would recommend in, in terms of, of, of prep and again, you know part of it is sort of a little bit of RNG because you got You got to try to invite people into the party or hope that they invite you to a party and and link up with like three other people Because again, you're gonna need as many people as possible. I mean, can you do this with three people? Maybe probably if you're all really really good at the game but uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tricky. I mean, with six people, uh, we were, we were all really set up, and we were still like going down a bunch. I mean, okay, I only had a pack a punch two weapon. To be fair, it was gold rarity. Uh, I wasn't able to you know get prepared in time because I wasn't expecting to go in there. But still, nonetheless, uh, I don't know. Hopefully, this you know helps you out, gives you a little bit of tips and tricks in getting this done. So basically, what happens is once you complete all three of these contracts in the Elder Sigil variant of the Dark Ether, that's how you unlock this this blueprint. So you get to the very 
very end of all this. Uh, and I don't I don't think I had a pop up letting me know that I even had this blueprint. You're just going to go over to your, your loadout. Um, you know, either in zombies or in uh, in multiplayer, and you're just going to select the MCW. And when you select the MCW, it's going to be uh, right over there called the Geode, um, and that's it. And again, this is unlocked from this this way. We know that, so we we know that we unlock this from doing all three contracts in the Dark Ether Elder Sig Sigil variant, <clears throat> and. Um, yeah, it's pretty intense. So, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Try to give you as many tips and tricks as, as possible. I'll also link another uh, video down in the description below that uh, talks about getting prepared for the Tier 3 zone. It's kind of a similar idea, so if you want kind of a little bit more in-depth explanation about that and, and, and kind of a, a little bit more of an idea, um, then I'll link that down in the description below. Uh, because again, it's all about, you know, getting that gold weapon and just how to maximize the the time you have uh, As best as you can, you, you know, you only got like what 40 45 minutes uh, in game again You can go into the dark ether at the very 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 end of the game It doesn't matter because there's a whole other level that it loads you into um, So you can wait till like the literally the last second if, if you want to so take all the time You need to prep and then get in there and uh, get it done So again, hopefully this helped you guys out if it did be sure to leave a like subscribe for more And if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below otherwise uh, the best of luck, man, because you're gonna need it. It's tough, okay? It's tough. So have fun with it, though. Let me know if you guys do end up pull pulling this one off. Uh, I'd love to hear your guys' success stories and, and even maybe your failure stories, man. You know, it's uh, sometimes it takes a few failures to get that success, but uh, keep at it. You'll get it. I believe in you guys, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Another one. Tell them, friends. Game on. Thanks for watching. Hey, you! What are you doing? Join the Skeleton Army! Do it today! Don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. The Earth is gonna fade, that's inevitable. The next second of your life's not even promised, so you better think about where you're going, and you might as well just join the Skeleton Army. Plus, we do kinda like you a little bit, so it'd be nice to see you around here. But if you don't want to, hey, you're lost. See you later!